So now in this video, I'm going to make my uh, second video with the uh, LM431. So I got that uh, not terribly long ago, but I've only made the one video and kind of put them away. But in any case, I think I made this data sheet after I made the video. And pin number one here is the reference pin. So this is a TO92 package, as you can see there. And we got the uh, pins. And uh, so pin number one is the reference pin. That's the pin on the left. Pin number two is the anode and pin number three is the cathode and there you can see the uh, cathode usually goes towards the positive side of the circuit anode to the negative like a zener diode and uh, they even got the uh, z on the schematic and then we have our reference and uh, so we since the reference is the pin on the left there when i turn it this way it's the bottom pin i'm going to put it to this trim pot and so this is a circuit it's uh my version of the circuit but i really came across this circuit to, uh, today and I want to start using this component more and I uh, get a better feel for it it's a brand new component so we got the trim pot here you can see positive rail there negative rail there of course it's got three pins and uh, they fit into the breadboard nicely it's a 10,000 ohm trim pot and so I'll put that back in the board and so the middle pin comes to uh, that jumper and that is attached to the wiper so I can adjust the voltage coming to the uh, LM431. Now, the anode, as I said, is connected to ground, at least in this uh, particular circuit. So now, what we're going to do is attach an LED to this. And so I'm going to use a 2200 ohm resistor because we're going to be using somewhat higher voltages. So. 2200 I'm going to put that up one row right there make sure it goes to the positive rail and then I'm going to put the LED right next to it so of course long lead the anode has to go to the resistor because it's more positive short lead the cathode down there because ultimately we will have a current path down there and so what this does is I'll zoom back I got the power supply it's plugged into the board via these jumpers and uh, alligator clips and jumpers but uh, it's not on right now. I'll hit the power and it is on. I think we saw a quick flash. Oh, okay, maybe not. And uh, so power is on now. And what we're gonna do is 10 volts. I'm interested in 10 volts for whatever reason. And so I'm gonna turn the trim pot up. And you can see a slight glow with the LED, but uh, we want it to really turn on. And uh, when you let go of the trim pot it kind of bounces back in the direction you came but I think we are pretty close there let's hit set and let's lower the uh, voltage by one tenth of a volt at a time you can see the LED got dimmer and even dimmer like that but uh, it got really bright probably right there okay there we go it's not getting brighter anymore so so that's at 10 volts there you can see it gets really dark and uh, we can improve it a little bit we'll come to that but in case let's set this up to 13 volts so it's adjustable we go down until the LED goes off let's just say for whatever reason 13 volts is what interests us I'm gonna go down until it gets a little dimmer there we go now try to tap it up until it's on fully so that should be close enough Let's lower it a little, and it doesn't look like we got as close that time. Let's try again. Try to get it right when, there we go, hopefully, there we go, that's better. So, in any case, let's do the improvement. So we're going to take a resistor, again this is a 2200 ohm resistor, and I'm just going to put it parallel to the LED. And so when there's a lower voltage, the uh, resistor will help pull it down and uh, cut off voltage from the uh, LED. And you'll see it turn off quicker, there you go. We had like a couple pulses. So, looks like this is pretty good at uh, 
letting us know, or 12.8, when we have 12.8 volts, like that. And of course, we can uh, set it even higher. So that's basically it for the circuit. I think it's pretty cool. And so I just came across it today. We'll go down until just about when it turns on. And now let's see how good of a job we did. Pretty dim right there. So 14.8. So now I'm going to try something that will hopefully improve it even more. Let's turn the power supply off. You should turn it off while you're modifying a circuit, especially when it's so easy for me to hit a button. So I'm going to yank the uh, jumper out of there. So this is a 10 kilo ohm fixed resistor, and we got the 10 kilo ohm trim pot right there. So now there's a lot more resistance on the positive side, and so we will need to turn this more positive by uh, quite a bit. And so it should be easier to fine tune things in that way. There we go. So uh, let's uh, shoot for 15. I gotta turn the uh, power on. And uh, looks like right about there. See how we did. And that was pretty good right there. So I have about twice as much range because we have more resistance on the uh, positive side there. Now another thing I noticed too is that uh, with this I can go all the way to the negative rail and we don't see any current so that's good and uh, I'm gonna grab the jumper and put that back and we're gonna work our way towards the positive rail again so this trim pot can go all the way to the positive rail if I get this plugged in and there we go trim pot can go all the way to the positive rail we got the LED turned on and you can see current going up let's yank the uh, resistor and the LED so now current went uh, down a bit there's nothing attached there so we got the current going through uh, the trim pot and you can see that's pretty high and uh, so I was going through the component there so you should avoid that I'm thinking but uh, in any case hopefully I didn't damage anything but that's about it stay away from that positive rail as far as I can tell so that this is the only testing I've done on that but that does not look promising it doesn't look like there's any reason to go way up there keep uh, quite a bit of resistance on the positive side from what I can tell so far so in any case new component I'm getting used to it I thought this was an interesting circuit though you can set a voltage, you'll know if you have, have a rising voltage when you hit that voltage. And of course if you wire it right, maybe you can cut off the power to something once it gets up to that voltage. But uh, that's all different circuits for uh, different days. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.